red-nosed reindeer had a really massive Rob Chavers. And I'm the captain. And thank the Lord for Steve Vine and Ibanez for making these incredible, incredible guitars. This is such a lovely neck to play. Um, if you've ever indulged in shredding and been around in the 90s and 80s like I was, you will just put your hand on it and go, oh, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> Extra large Donna Kebab. Yeah, no, it's fine. I'm, I'm young. I can eat, I can burn off the fat. Donna yeah. Kebab. She was a tart. What do she? I listen to? I mm -hmm. listen to Steve Vai, Joe Satriani, Mighty Freeman. Yeah, that's what I listen to. Yeah. Is it, can I get some more Lego, Dad? Okay, cool. Yeah. What's <laughs> the internet? What's the internet? Reminisce. I'm just. I'm going to stand by because it's a little bit honey. Stand by me. So, uh, what's not to like about that, Lee? Well, nothing really. And uh, Mr. Stephen Vai is uh, touring. Uh, has been touring in 2016 with this very guitar, which is the latest gem. Uh, from the uh, family of gem guitars, um, affectionately named the Woody, uh, although I believe it's called the uh, Gem 77 WDP. Yeah, they obviously um, don't understand the British connotation of what a Woody is. Well, they probably do. He's, he's a character from Toy Story and uh, and a morning glory uh, thing. You know who else um, is a character? Steve Vai. Steve Vai. Rabia and I went to see Steve Vai do The Passion of Warfare. It was his birthday oh, wow. and it was in Brighton and it was the loudest gig I've ever been to in my life. Beer and I were both like deaf for a few days, but he is so good live, my God. So this is the latest um, top of the range offering that Ibanez are making out of their Indonesian factory. Hmm. So they started making guitars in Indonesia a few years ago and they sort of progressively each year, they kind of, they up the game and they kind of transfer a little bit more quality, a little bit more quality. So this is actually now quite a sort of an expensive guitar. Um, for that kind of factory to produce. But it's, you know, the end result is obviously it just is super, super nice and top of the range. Mm. Um, so it's got a super, super thin neck. Let's spin it round, Rob, and let's have a look <laughs> at his butt. Uh, so this is a five piece wizard neck uh, made of um, three pieces of maple and two pieces of walnut mm. with now what Ivan is calling the KTS titanium truss rods through it. So I'm guessing- Oh, twin truss rod. Uh, I believe it's, uh, it, it's, it says titanium rods plural, which means more than one. Um, and I'm guessing again, it's just another step towards this idea of making skinny necks that don't move at all. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, normal Ibanez machine heads, uh, rosewood fretboard, uh, mahogany body, but with a rosewood kind of top to it according to the spec. So it's obviously got like a, a some sort of rosewood veneer. Yeah, it looks like it's a rosewood veneer they've put on top. It looks great, man. Yeah. I mean, the, I, I've got to say, some will say this is over the top, um, but I really think these pickups are cool. They are, yeah, I mean, it's I, what is this, like a bolted? It's, it's like steampunk inspired. Oh, the pickups kind of, for sure. Yeah, cut into the, the casing. But man, it's just great. And this is spalted maple yeah, scratch Yeah, some plate. sort of spalted maple scratch plate. Yeah. But these are the new dark matter uh, pickups from right. Steve Vai. They're his own signature pickups. Uh, and they are a passive circuit, but ceramic magnet pickup. And they are pretty kind of honky. But yeah, let's have a listen on some clean tones, see what we get. Let's do that, let's turn it on as well. Because that's always a favorite of ours. <laughs> Thank you. 
but you're probably not going to get this. No, I was just looking. Nicely done, Tree of Life inlay. Again, some of the older gems where the um, uh, tooling to kind of cut out the inlays was obviously not as, as uh, accurate as this, had quite a bit of filler around the inlay, but this is, even on the sort of very intricate bits, there's very, very little filler on the uh, Tree of Life inlay. Looks nice. Let's back off some of the tone. tone there actually I wonder if you could do some interesting con the only downside with these wooden knobs is that they don't really have any grip on them so you oh yeah they're a bit shiny aren't yeah they? you actually need to grab them with two two fingers and then turn them which is a shame because the knob the tone has so much tone to adjust, yeah. the one could wire in an interesting. So it's not really quite difficult to do those. Kind no, you of sweet... can't really. I mean, you can. You'd but... have to put a bit of like sticky stuff on them. Yeah, you need to, to do something like that. I'm sure that's something that Ibanez will address. But other than that, let's be fair. If you own this guitar, there could be plenty of sticky stuff everywhere. So you, know, just... <laughs> don't, don't, you won't be. <laughs> to fretboards that are that flat. I was going to say, we haven't had Shreddy Rob for a while, so this is good. Um, yeah, I thought I'd turn off the reverb and the delay so you could just hear the, the native yeah. guitar. We're just using the, the gain from the amplifier, so the only pedals we've got on the floor are delay and a reverb. Yeah. So that's the Ibanez uh, Edge Zero Two trem system on here, which is you guys probably know. They I don't think there's any Ibanez guitars in the range where they use a Floyd, they, the, the Floyd Rose. They use all their own trem systems. And uh, what, 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 let's max them out, max them out, do some like maximum stuff. And we'll see. <laughs> See if we can get just that infinite sustain with this running.
that's not a sustainer, which I believe Steve uses quite frequently. Oh, really? It, uh, it's in fact just a great pickups, great guitar, great amplifier, and great pedals. Yes. Oh, hey, Snowman, how you doing? You want to buy some of my frost? Sure, put it in the guitar, bro. You didn't see nothing, right? Pleasure doing business. <laughs> That was uh, what I did do there. Just uh, that was uh, that was the <coughs> first time. Just for that one bit, I used a distortion pedal in front of the already heavily driven uh, channel on the V30. Just because then, I mean, we're fairly loud in here, although not. You know, we're only at like nine o'clock on the um, master volume here, so it's fairly loud in here. But it does do that. You know, Rob can get it to do that kind of singing sustain things. Very. Go cool. on, and how much is it? Thirteen hundred. 1300 oh. with a case. This case, kind of one of those like semi hard. Just like you know, I am right yeah, now. Absolutely. Looking at this guitar. Uh, from the premium range. <laughs> it's quite <a> nice. <laughs> it's quite a nice case, kind of molded inside. There's. Yeah. Uh, ooh. ooh. I'd like to say this comes with it, but I, I'm not, you know, I don't want to get shot if it doesn't, but it looks like you get a little kind of Ibanez pen knife. Yeah. Uh, extra springs. Uh, Gigantic telephone directory. Goodness me, what is the point of giving you? Um, surely you don't need a book like this to know. <laughs> this is the instruction manual. But I guess you might do if you speak lots of different languages. It does, in fairness, go into great detail about things like the tremolo system and how you adjust it and stuff like that. And as Rob said, it's in about ten different languages. So you know, Steve Vai is the, is the only one of my heroes left that I haven't met. I've met Joe Satriani. I've met Marty Friedman. You know. Uh, actually, I haven't met Peter Green. I've always wanted to meet Peter Green, yeah. but I've never met Steve Vai. So, Steve, if you're watching this, please, at some point, can we have a cup of tea and just chill for like five minutes and let me breathe air in the same area that you're breathing? It would be really, really cool. You're going to ring him. Steve, Steve, yeah, it's Cappers. Yeah. Cappers? Yeah. Pop down. Pop down. Rob wants to meet you. Okay. Thanks, man. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, be here in two. Okay, that's no great. Problem. All right. Get the kettle on. So there you go. <laughs> Steve, -o. Steve, how you doing, man? <laughs> Cheers, man. Be with two seconds. Just finish this video. Thanks, uh, man. Yeah. Um, that's it, really, isn't it? Nothing yeah. else to really tell no, you about no, this no. other than brilliant the... guitar. Yeah. Lovely sounds. Looks great. What else do you need? Yeah. You know, if you're not a fan of this, go. I away. like the look. I, I, I have to say, I'm, I, I, I like a lot of what Ivan is doing with these kind of exotic wood kind of tops. I like it. And as Rob said, the steampunk kind of. We'll do some close-ups on the. They're, they're really, really nicely. What is that like? Oh, no, 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 they're not even yeah, it's etched. It's just cut that through. It's laser cut, cut through. through. Oh, yeah, my it's, goodness. It's, me. Been st it's been stamped out, hasn't it? That's cool. I thought it, I thought it had a black graphic no, on it, but no, that's no. the actual pickup oh, yeah, underneath. It's, it's metal isn't it? and it's been cut, it's been stamped yeah, out or laser cut. That'll make cut a out. massive difference to the time. You know what? I guarantee you, loads of people are going to buy these and mod them. I think they're going to sand off this, this lacquer and have them natural wood, and they're going to do all sorts of dirty I things. Like and I'm excited to see what dirty things they do to it. Well, Happy days. Happy days. And look, this is our, actually, this is probably the last, now this might not be the last video you see before Christmas because it depends on the order that we sort of put them up, but this is probably hmm. the last video that we are going to shoot before Christmas. Yes. So, so have a great Christmas. Have a great, have a great, great holiday. Christmas. Relax. Sorry, yes. Don't spend too much money on, on gear at his shop because, uh, you know, other things are important too. Yeah, make sure, you know, get your priorities right. Make yeah. sure you've at least got some Brussels sprouts, but everything you've got spare above that, spend obviously on gear. And if you do have Brussels sprouts, try pan frying them in a bit of sesame oil, a little bit of salt, a little bit of cumin. Great. No, I, the recipe for sprouts is, and apologies vegetarians, because you won't like this, but if you're not vegetarian, it's pan, you know, boil your sprouts. It's a but just, just do it till they're sort of al dente. Don't overboil your sprouts. Then big pan, like a wok is good, bit of oil, bacon and chestnuts, like, you know, chopped up chestnuts, pan fried, <laughs> bosh. It's seriously, that's the highlight of my Christmas highlight day. Highlight of anyone yeah. who wants heart disease. <laughs> I've been Chappers, mm. take it easy, Chappers. <laughs>
is Rory from the UK. Tell me about Rory. So he uh, edits videos. Rory's awesome. 